This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Ying.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey, everybody, it's Sarah Wiseman. Today we are working on Divine Astrology, August 2021, and this channeling is called Reality Shifts. When consciousness expands at an accelerated rate, reality takes on a new form. Okay, so as you awaken, what you experience changes. It moves into a new dimensionality. You could also say dimensionality, frequency, vibration, all words. What was unknown becomes known. What was unheard of becomes common. Again, reality shifts. This is what you are experiencing now, the reality shift that accompanies awakened consciousness. Now they continue, you are not manifesting this, you are not creating this. The universe is infinitely vast and layered and everything exists already. You, in your awakening consciousness, are simply seeing the path for the first time. You could not see it before, and now you can. It's as if you've been in a room with a blindfold on and you cannot find the door until one day you simply take off the blindfold and instantly see the door and walk through it. The door has been there (laughs) the entire time you're awakening has opened a new reality. Now, many of you are struggling with all this change and with this, you know, new idea, new things happening. There is a sense of the ground shifting underfoot. So the idea is just relax, know that the journey to the new place is always filled with unexpected twists and turns, challenges and delights. And you know this in your physical reality, right? Because if you decide you're going to drive in your car to the next door town, or you decide you're going to walk on a path, you know that from the moment you step out of your home and the the moment you get to your destination, a whole bunch of things are going to happen along the way. And this is part of the fun of it, right? And this is this journey of life and this idea that we're always going to have these unexpected twists and turns. Always. It's part of how things work. So they are saying, in the middle of this accelerated change, do not lose heart. Stay loose. Remember, you are a part of the universe, infinite and endless. You have already passed through several key passages of the Aquarian threshold, the gateway to the new age. You've already passed through, so everything will be okay. You will acclimate as you continue. How do you know you're moving through into this new age? And the markers are these. They're saying collective soul recognizes itself. Collective soul shines light on darkness. And collective soul collaborates. And so... This is what you are beginning to achieve, and these are remarkable achievements. Know that you were not at this place even a few years ago. And by this, they mean you and me, and they mean the entire soul collective. We were not there. These are new stages in humanity's growth cycle or evolution. Evolution is happening. You are changing at the speed of light, and also you are changing at the speed of light. Please also know by collective soul, we mean all conscious beings, humans, animals, plants, others in this dimension, others in other dimensions. So it's not just humanity. It's 
the entire galaxy of consciousness or actually the entire universe of consciousness. Humans are just a small part. And they're saying, if this does not make sense to you um, yet, don't worry, it will. It will make sense to you soon. And for some of you, like you get it immediately, this idea of consciousness existing across many species, across many dimensional layers. So it's humans, it's plants, it's the weather, it's animals, it's the departed, it's the guides, it's other beings. Consciousness is rising everywhere. We're all part of this oneness that's lifting up together. So how do you go forward walking in this reality that doesn't make sense yet? So they say, if you are collaborating to solve problems locally, regionally, or globally, you will make progress. If you are working from isolation, so isolation, separation, dominance, competition, greed, you're on the wrong path. Collaboration is the only solution you have. Anything that increases separation, anything that says one is higher than another is the wrong direction. There's no hierarchy of souls. Now, one of the things COVID has done is on the one hand, we've become more isolated. On the other hand, we've reached out more in our isolated state. So make sure as you're coming back to the surface of you know, whatever level of physical association you're able to do right now, um, that's great, do that. But also pay attention to where your heart is um, if you feel separate from others or if you feel connected and just we're continually working on opening that heart and realizing that we are, um, we're not only all together, we're one. And so opening to that reality, there is no separation. Um, there's no hierarchy and there's no separation. So many of you are struggling to stop the habitual thoughts and behaviors of separation. It may be all you have ever known, so how can you know differently? And we say, it's time to open <laughs> your awareness. Let go of what you've been told, centuries of misbelief passed down through the generations, and let yourself know you are one of one. The moment you leave separation behind, you will walk through the door of awakening. You know, this idea, centuries of misbelief, centuries of being taught, this is the enemy, that is the enemy, that is incorrect, that is wrong, that is shameful, that is bad, you know, opening up all of that and looking at what you believe and what's actually true or not at this point for you, just looking at it. Oh, I was always taught this, this is how I was raised. Is that right? Chances are good. It's a very old belief, it's brought down generations for good reason, but these are not the reasons that our ancestors had for being a certain way. We don't have those same reasons now. We can open up to some new ideas. Anything that separates us, it's not where we need to be. Um, what is happening right now has been building for centuries. Karma is burning. Um, Interesting, you know, wildfires are burning. Karma is burning. Um, these, are, these are, this idea of burning through karma, of working through the soul lessons of our time. And here we are all doing that together. It's not surprising that there isn't some kind of physical manifestation um, in the weather systems and other systems that are reflecting our collective consciousness as we shed and release and work through and burn through all of our karma, which is soul lessons learned over time. So this is happening on the macro level, countries in revolution, cities in protests. This is happening on the micro level, a single person, maybe someone you know, maybe you becoming free from abuse. Again, this may be you, and this is most certainly you, the big you. The call to light is happening in the 
micro and the macro. You are here to participate in this shift. It's what you came here for. It's what you came here for. Like, oh, I dropped into this lifetime. What am I supposed to do? Maybe, you know, I'll, I'll go to dance class or I'll ride my bike or work my job or I'll have a family or, you know, I'm going to be involved in this or, oh, no, no, this is what you came here for. So just kind of focus on that and things get really clear. If you're confused and not sure what to do next, Take off your blindfold and look for the door. It's been there the whole time. And if you need help, and a lot of us are still moving through some really, really, really rough stuff. It's been a pretty intense few years. If you need help, ask the universe, pray, meditate, relax, breathe, double down on that spiritual practice, however that feels right to you. You just close your eyes and you simply ask. I am Sarah Wiseman. It's been so nice to be with you here today. We do divine astrology every month. It's a free channeled report. Uh, you want to sign up to subscribe to it. That would be awesome. Visit the website, sarahwiseman.com for tons of wonderful resources for those of you on the path of intuitive and spiritual awakening. Thanks for listening.